I knew about Ewan, I didn't know a lot about his work, but now I, I feel like I know and he's a really well-rounded producer. But it's, it was fantastic, like all the stuff that he had, he really had a purpose for each part of his gear, but he really took us through and showed us we have a reason for this, this is why I, I use this, you know, it's good because of this, blah, blah, blah. We just did a very, very simple guitar um, and vocal, and then we went down to a friend of mine who has a upright piano in his flat. But these are the raw recordings without any, without anything doing to them, basically. I think that was the most personal one we've done because it was, you know, he was telling us about his relationship with the band and how that whole dynamic is built upon, you know. And he made it his own project out of the demos and then he said, okay, so here's how, here's how I interpreted that and then built it, built it, built it, built it, built it up. I'd started to use some different drums, like triggered some different sounds from their original parts so that the part would sound the same, but the sounds were a bit nicer. Although I kept pretty much the same idea and the sort of 4-4, disco 4-4 and claps, it's kind of opened up a little bit. And it... Yeah, I got goosebumps, man, listening to it, because it's ridiculous what a mix can do. Because it's the same, it's the same elements, but he just did his did his thing, man. And uh, it was, yeah, it was awesome. You call me out, it pulls me in, it's been too long. At the end of the session, everybody was singing the song, you know. <laughs> so, so it means that his work works very well. <laughs> so, yeah, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> it's been too long.